Hey! Are you motionless in front of your computer? My question does not make sense. You can answer yes, because your chair does not move on the floor. Someone else will tell me no, since the earth is spinning. So, it depends. The move is relative to the choice of a reference object. In the example which follows, the object of study will be the ball which is in the hand of this young person. And the frame of reference is the train, whose speed is constant. So, this is a classic example. If the reference frame is the train, its trajectory here is rectilinear. The object falls and rises on a trajectory which is straight and vertical. The observer is the one who holds the camera, let's say, the one who watches the motion, who studies it. If the observer is now on Earth, outside the train, so if he is linked to Earth, the trajectory is not the same. So, this is enough to understand that a move is not described in the same way depending on the choice of frame of reference. This is why I wanted to do a little animation on the choice of the reference frame. The reference frame is an object. Earlier, it was the train, here it is the ground. That's it for this video. Thank you.